Hi, wonderful family. It's another beautiful day where I live, and I trust that uh, you're having a beautiful day. If the day is not, hasn't seemed to respond to what God has proclaimed concerning you, that this is the day the Lord has made, and you rejoice and be glad in it, take charge of the it must so it must be subservient to the word. Hallelujah. Today, I just want to share a little bit about um, from the book of John chapter 15 and uh, to conserve time I'll say let us dive in and have a healthy breakfast lunch or supper depending on what part of the world you are glory be to God I read from verse 1 it says I am the true vine and my father is the husbandman every branch in me that beareth not fruit he taketh away when he says when he says my father is the husbandman he's saying that his father is the gardener he's the one that prunes is the one that takes care of the vine, takes care of the plants. He's the one that takes care of us. Praise God. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it that it may bring forth more fruit. In essence, he's saying that if you're productive, he helps fine tune you, that you, you produce more. And when we go down further, you'll get to understand what, what he means when he says fruit. I'll reserve that till we get there. Verse 3. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me and I in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abided in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. Without me, you can do nothing. Okay, this fruit he's talking about, whatever it is, further down, we'll explain what that fruit is. He's saying the only way that you can bring fruit, fruit is to be vitally connected to him and let him abide in you. How does he abide in you? He abides in you in the person of his word. Himself and his word are one. So if you are born again, and remain born again that is you living in Christ and then he abides in you his word lives in you when you say abide abide means uh, that is takes residence it's not as it's not a it's not a visitor it doesn't come and go it is resident in you it lives in you something cannot come and displace it it's not it's not a tenant it owns the place it stays is vitally entwined in you you feed yourself with his word to the point that you are full nothing else can take its place nothing from the outside can displace it for you to start speaking things contrary then according to verse 5 I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abided in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. Then you bring forth much fruit. So he goes on in verse 6. Oh, let me complete. For without me, you can do nothing. So if you are not in him and he is not in you, you can do nothing. Anything you think you do outside of the context of this is categorized as nothing. A nullity. Praise God. Verse 6. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. Verse 7. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you. You see, he's, he's now qualifying it when he says that if you abide in me and I in you. He's now qualifying it by saying if you abide in me and my words abide in you. Ye shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Praise God. You remember I was talking about fruit. And I said we will get to what that fruit is. So if you are born again, that is you abide in him. And his words abide in you. His words abide in you. They, they live vitally in you. That you will ask what you will. You notice he didn't say you will ask what the father wills. The simple reason behind that is now that your will will now be in line with his will. So you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. Not it may be done. That is the secret there. 
you being in Christ and his word taking residence in your heart then you ask what you will and it shall be done unto you verse 8 hearing is my father glorified that ye bear much fruit he's answered us there now what, what we were asking about what that fruit is you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you herein is my father glorified that ye bear much fruit what is that fruit what you asked that is done unto you and he said that if you are if you abide in him and his words abide in you that you will bring forth much fruit you want to give glory to your father abide in him let his words take residence in you and then ask ask let him do and you will produce fruit and you will produce much fruit that is the way to give glory to god that you 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 make requests of course those requests are tied to his will because you have stored his word in your heart and then he grants those requests in abundance it brings glory to him praise god you remember he said he is the husband man he is the husband man he brings he, 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 he sees to it that you you produce and when you are producing if you are producing fruit he fine tunes you in such a way that you produce more fruit more fruit praise God hallelujah let's keep on going it says here is my father glorified that ye bear more fruits so shall ye be my disciples as the father hath loved me so have i loved you continue in my love if you keep my commands you shall abide in my love and even as i have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love these things have i spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full praise god he's told us the long and short of the matter there be born again and let this word dwell in you and then you have assurance that when you ask he's going to give it to you and that when you start getting successes in getting from him start success from him he's going to make sure that he trains you in such a way you know a gardener trains plants he trains you in such a way that you produce even more you are more fruitful and that gives him glory so go ahead and give glory to your god Ab abide your words abide in him let his words abide in you then go ahead and ask and it shall be done for you Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God.